So in this activity, we're going to learn how to connect up our water temperature probe to our microbit circuit. So we're going to need our microbit. We're going to need a grow shield. And we're going to need this long gray water temperature. This is called a DSB20 sensor. And we're going to need to install an extension in the make code for this to work. So I've already gone to my make code website and I've created a project name. Um, and we're going to call it water temperature. I'm going to create. Okay. So to get our water temperature probe working, it's not too bad once we get the right extension. And that's the hard part with the water temperature probe. Because when you go down to your advanced and you click on extensions and you type in DS water and you search, okay, you're going to get a couple of extensions that do not work with our Grove Shield. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to GitHub and type in a URL in order to get an extension that works. So I've got another tab open already up here. And when you end up at GitHub's website, I'm going to just take, get it to the front page. You know, it'll ask you to log in if you want, don't want to and set up an account, but you don't have to. What you're going to search GitHub for is something called DS temp. And if you put the search word microbit in there, so DS temp microbit, and you search all of GitHub, only one thing should pop up. And that's going to be the extension we're going to need for our water temperature. So you click on that link, and it's going to take you to all these files. You don't need any of these files. What you need is this URL up here. And so you're going to copy that URL. You're going to go back to make code. You're going to go back to your program. You're going to scroll down to extensions. You're going to add the extension like you normally would. And you're going to paste that URL that you were just at in the search box. And now I've got my DS18D20 probe. And I'm going to search. And I'm going to click it, and it should install once it finishes loading the blocks a new block that is going to allow you to use your water temperature probe. Okay. So the water temperature probe is going to work with port 0, 1, and 2. So it will work with any of our regular shield ports. And there I've got my DS temp installed. So let's test this out. I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to plug my water temperature probe into port P0. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to go on ahead and stick my micro bit in. So let's get programming. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call my variable water temp. So now it automatically creates these three blocks. I want to set, so I need to record something. So I'm going to set my water temp to. Now if I go to my DS temp block, it's going to ask me what do I want to set it to. And I've got this little round or oval block here. It says temp in Celsius on which pin. So I'm going to drag that over. And notice I set it to pin P0, so I want to have that the same. If I set it to a different one, I could pick a different pin here. Okay. So now I've got a variable that says water temp to temperature on pin 0. So that's going to turn it on and everything that you need. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to see it. So that's going to be under our basic block. And the basic block is going to allow data and text and numbers to appear on your micro bit screen itself. Okay. So we're going to do basic. And first thing I want to do is I want to show what's on my screen in the first part. So I'm going to say show, and I'm going to say WT for water temperature equals. I don't want many letters here because what's going to happen is the text is going to scroll across here, so it's slow. And you don't want to wait for W-A-T-E-R-T. -E By the time you get there, you're tired and you don't care what the water temperature is anymore. So I'm going to have WT scroll fast equals. Okay. Then I'm going to have my basic block again, and I'm going to show a number. And the number I am going to show this time is going to be 
my oops, under my variables, my water temperature variable. Okay. And what's going to happen is it's going to run over and over and over again. And if you notice down in your little simulator area, that's kind of what I got down here. Okay. So next step that we want to be able to do is I want to save my file. Okay. And it's going to save it to my downloads. And then I'm going to need to drag it from my downloads folder as soon as I find my downloads folder. Okay. I'm going to drag this over. So now in my downloads folder. I have my micro bit water temperature hex and I now when I plugged in my micro bit I should have a micro bit treat it most like a USB key and I'm just going to drag it over to my micro bit and it should download the file and you should see the little yellow light on the black back blinking so as long as that yellow light is blinking that means that what is happening is it's transferring. Right? When it stops blinking so fast and when it goes solid that means you've got a successful transfer and on the front I should find out what my water temperature is. So now it says WT equals 27 degrees. So now in theory as I should be able to hold my water temperature probe and it should it just went up to 28 All right, it's now up to 32. So now I've got my water temperature reading. And that's really all that we have to do to get a reading from our water temperature probe onto our micro bit.